Well, newly released 911 calls are now painting a clear picture of the chaos that broke out at Concord Mills at the mall there last week. And it started with someone getting their credit card stolen and ended with police in a shootout with the suspect. Well, we now know the suspect who exchanged gunfire with police is dead and two others are facing charges. Queen City News reporter Robin Kennedy is live at Concord Mills. Sorry, I went the wrong way. Concord Mills tonight. Robin, what more can you tell us about this investigation? Alicia, very terrifying 911 calls. A construction worker called 911 to report police chasing someone inside the mall here. Shoppers and other workers also made calls, including one who said she heard gunshots and she's hiding out inside the mall. I work at Women's Crafters and I just heard several shots just uh, ring out and people went running. Everybody's hiding and then running. How many you heard three shots inside the mall? How many shots? Four, four, four or five shots. It was pop, 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 pop. A worker tells 911 she's hiding out in a bathroom at Concord Mills Mall. Shots had just erupted inside the shopping center in the middle of the day. Concord Police just releasing multiple 911 calls involving police shooting a man inside the mall last Wednesday after officers say he first fired at them. Police initially went out to the mall to try and track down accused credit card thieves after this 911 call. How did they get a hold of your card? Mm, I gave my card to them to help me buy something and then they did not buy it for me and then they just used my car to buy something else and they just took away from me. Investigators say they initially encountered three people matching the description of the accused thieves in the parking lot of the mall, but the suspects ran inside. Concord police say this man, 23-year-old Dominic Jeter, first fired several shots at police before they returned fire, shooting Jeter inside Concord Mills. Jeter was taken to the hospital after he was shot. The Concord police chief told us Tuesday that Jeter died from his injuries sometime over the weekend. This is a mugshot of Jeter from an arrest on the Mecklenburg County Jail website from October 2020. Police say Jeter was previously convicted of carrying a concealed weapon, being a felon in possession of a weapon, and resisting arrest. Investigators say, according to a police report, Jeter stole a gun matching the one found at the scene the day before the shooting inside Concord Mills. Now, police arrested two other suspects after the shooting and charged them with the accusations that they stole the credit card. I'm live at Concord Mills. Robin Kennedy, Queen City News. In-depth coverage on that. We have some more information to add to the two officers who investigators say were shot at by the suspect, our officer Jeremy Howarth who's been with the department for two months, and Officer Maria Westphal, who's been with the department for two years. Now, both officers are on administrative duty, which is department policy right now, and the State Bureau of Investigations right now is conducting an independent investigation. Now, there is nearly 25 minutes of 911 calls related to this story, and you can listen to them for yourself right now on our website at qcnews.com. All you have to do is pull out your smartphone. We've made it very easy for you. You can open up your camera and then scan this QR code that you see right here on the screen. That will take you directly to the site. There you can find the full calls and the latest on the investigation.